Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're right, telling so us you can't put him down without harming him. You're not powerful enough for that. He's saying he's not powerful enough to take out the lieutenants and their underlings if they came after him. Brickard. Yeah. I'm using a conversational technique. Okay. Sometimes known as... Uh... <laughs> what is it you're trying to do? I, I'm essentially Im- implying that he's saying that he has to kill Matsu Henshin to get by. He, he's not strong enough to do it, to, to just knock him out. He tells you that he doesn't see the value in leaving such a creature alive. Spilling his blood would be uh, in the service of the plane of Beator. Sure, but that's part of our deal. That's part of what we get out of this. Make but... another wisdom insight check when he says that to you. Mm-hmm. That's better. That's a 23. It strikes you as a little odd that he seems so gung-ho about murdering this Archon. And then it kind of hits you. You got a 13? I got a 23. 23. I knew there was a 3 in there. I got one digit right. (laughs) You're pretty sure that by killing this Hound Archon, he's looking to curry favor with somebody on the outside. Right. Has Riot seen the keys? Jingling. Oh yeah, we've got this. It's this whole thing. Yeah, that's a dumb question. Yeah, so we've seen the uh, the object that we want. And Riot says it with a mind link. All right, show of hands. Who votes to keep my attention alive? Because it's either him or this guy, and I don't like this guy at all. And this and this guy's a devil. Awesome. I think that if we jerk. get if if we can convince this guy to. Uh... To leave Mata Henshin alive, he'll do it because he's a devil. If we can't convince him, we'll just take him. Okay. Nath shrugs and sort of half raises his hand. Riot, Mahogany, yeah. and Nath. You guys are speaking over the Raries? Yeah. yeah. All three of you make an intelligence saving throw. Huh. Is this a spell? Uh, <laughs> sure. Oh, man, finally! <laughs> Win all my uh, life. That didn't help, but maybe still get it? Are you kidding me? Well, I can spend power points if I failed, but let's see. <laughs> right, got an 11. I'm not doing anything to bump it up. I don't okay. even care. Uh, I got a 18, actually, before I spend any points. I got a 20. For some reason, druids get intelligence as a save. Okay. Riot. Mm-hmm. You're having this quick telepathic uh, discussion with Nath and Mahogany. And for s- suddenly you get a very bad, splitting, piercing headache. It doesn't deal damage, but you hear the voice of the Amnizu in your mind. And he says, that won't work in my presence. And then he pushes you out of the spell. Was this your spell? It was my spell. Then it's dispelled. Huh. You guys feel the Rary's bond break. And then the Amnizu looks around as Riot's rubbing her temple, and he says, Let us speak openly and freely. Sure. As a show of and good shrugs, he says, uh, You heard what I said. I think that we can convince you. Yeah, and you've heard what I said, was that if we can't, it's not going to end well for you. Well, going to make another insight check, because I want you to make a million of these in this scene. <laughs> good at them. That's a nat 20? A nat 20. You said you you heard what I said, and he gives you a nod, but he's lying. He didn't hear what you said. You made your save. Okay. So, assuming that the Hound Archon's life is in... That's, that's a point of uh, negotiation we're not going to bend on. What more do you need to make that worth it? He asks what value to him this Hound Archon offers. Why would he, meaning Ulthor, leave Matsu Henshin alive if he doesn't have to? Because we're getting the deal for you. you get, now you get to make the rest, rest of us. Negotiation or He can see, he says how that makes sense from your perspective. Uh, Along a mortal timeline, 
that you all operate on, but which he is, of course, free the, of the grips of. However, it's in his best interest to, if he wants to escape from Destin Locke's clutches before his term of service is expired, it's in his best interest to take a good deal rather than take a bad one in the short term. In other words, he's saying somebody else will eventually be along that will offer him better terms. And if it's a year or ten years from now, that's no skin off his back. Mm -hmm. You're a devil right, though. How long have you been at this, exactly? By that you mean By... how long has he been keeping Locke's records? No, you've been working for him by, you know, prime reckoning. He grimaces a bit. And he says part of his terms of service to his great shame is that he must answer that question truthfully and directly. He tells you that his term of service, uh, in order to not be degenerated back to the status of a lemur, is 100,000 days, which Ulthor leapt at. He assumed the days would be counted by Sigil Reckoning, only to find out later that Locke's intent was to measure the days by that of a little-known prime material world with three suns, which sees nightfall only once every 200 Sigillian years. <laughs> and he so grimaces he bitterly as he gives you this information. Part of his service is he has to tell you that. So you got had. You said 300 years. So, uh, so each day is 200 years long, and he has 200. to serve 100,000 days. So I mean, forever. And so Liberation, you tell him you got had. He says he likes to think of it as being temporarily outmaneuvered. I mean, no skin off your nose, but you've clearly been here for some number of... Like, that's that's not a small amount of time. How much of that have you... He tells you that his service here... Though it has been bitter, uh, he has been able to use it to amass, and he points around to the room, great amounts of knowledge. A lot of various bits of information about a lot of people on the outs excuse me, on the outside. That the time he spent here enslaved will be put to excellent use when he is eventually freed. Well, as far as I can see, we're the first ones here who have any even chance, apparently, and I'll kind of nod towards Zook, at least as far as to my knowledge, of uh, doing this for you. So it seems like you might not have that many eternities. Make a persuasion check, mm -hmm. but make it a disadvantage. Uh, 14. 14. His eyes narrow at you, and he simply responds, What would you know of eternity? I know a thing about eternity. I know that if a devil is killed on Beator, that's the end for them. No more eternity left. So he's. He kind of sighs disappointedly and says, And so we are now back to idle threats. Mm, yeah. And he moves. Liberation, Liberation leans over to Keelian and whispers to Keelian and says, Hey, why not offer the guy this job? This guy a job. Let me go ahead and put him on the map because I think Sparks might be about to fly. <laughs> so you're whispering to Keelian. <laughs> yeah, and, and Riot's saying, All this information, plans you've made, all this time you've spent here. It's not going to be worth anything if you don't come to a deal with us. He moves around the room, back behind this large desk in the center. And he says, that is the last time I will allow you to threaten my person in this room. <laughs> Killian says to uh, Liberation, I don't want a devil that can't read a good as he... You want a devil that what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't read a contract. What good is he? Can't read the fine print. 
I mean, you almost can't fault somebody for not reading the fine print on a Pit Fiend's contract. <laughs> that's tricky. Counterpoint, it's a fucking Pit Fiend! <laughs> but looking at it from his perspective, it's like he either signs the contract or he goes back to being a Lemur, in which case he's probably eaten right away. <laughs> He doesn't have to sign contracts. He just has to. He just has to use information for you. So that's the deal on the table. That's what he's offering right now. Is he wants the heads of the two lieutenants, and he wants to kill Matsu Henshin on the way out. Right. I mean, says, "I told you when we came in here that we didn't need your deal, so I'm out." Okay, that's it for Riot. What about the rest of you? Good enough for Riot. Good enough for me, actually. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I honestly don't really care much about this guy. And as you guys are leaving the room one by one, he turns back to his stacks and begins climbing a ladder again. I don't know what our loyalty is to my attention, but sure, right? That's it. You leave the door Let closed me... behind you. Mm-hmm. Are you are you voicing that, Killian? Yeah. I mean, there might not be a lot left of him, but not beyond redemption. Yeah. <laughs> if it comes if to we, getting one of if we truly believe alive. that no one is beyond being saved from being removed from this place, why are we even here? Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, whose turn is it? Is it mine? I'll do it, but might want to... Why are we here? Because we don't yet know where Terran's body is. We know it's, well, not. We know assuming... it's not here. We know it's I'm not here. Sure. I was getting to that, but we don't know where it is. And maybe somebody I mean, here can tell us. The thing is, we may have just spoken to the person who could tell us. At any rate, my best guess at this point is that we have to open that seal. Obviously, that's what the game intends for us. Nah, sort of rolls his eyes at that point. <laughs> also, don't look at both gears at the same time. And he, you know, as Nath is entering this room, he is watching the the floor in front of him and not looking up. And Mahogany <laughs> walks in and he says, what gears? So Nath spends the max HP. Yep. Opens the door up. This room is disgusting. Oh yeah, this is the dining area, isn't it? The marble stairs lead down into a very hot uh, mess area where Locke's foot soldiers take their meals. Looking from the open doorway, looking down the stairs, you currently see three Abishai feasting here. Abishai are like large gargoyle-looking creatures. And the three of you who have stepped in, plus Zook. So Keelian and Liberation haven't stepped in yet. Okay. Because they're cowards. Of the four of you, <laughs> which of you has the lowest stealth bonus? It's not Zook. <laughs> no, it's Is not advantage Zook. plus five on, on stealth? If you're, like, looking for bonus? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. So that would put me at a 7. Oh, it might be right then. Riot's got a plus 5. No, it's probably Mahogany, because right now I have a plus 3. Uh, oh, mahogany, it's mahogany. a stealth check. I don't have advantage on stealth for any reason, do I? Why do you have it? Be well, for one, I still have the Eel's Grace, but for another, my cloak gives it to me. Oh, okay. Well, that's, well, about what I, that's about what I expected. <laughs> that was almost real good. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't going to be. We all knew it was going to be. He got a seven. A seven. How about we roll some initiative? Let me roll. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be honest. We just did some full-on talking to Pointless Boy. So Wait, does that I'm actually roll some initiative? Does that mean I have a, a bonus? On, I'm, I have advantage on initiative while that spells up? Uh, you should, yeah. It's a, dex oh, okay. it's a dexterity check. Yep. 
All right, let me flip through the book a little bit. I it, rolled a butt for initiative. It still always throws me off that the devils in the monster manual are arranged by like the kind, like the kind of devil, like barb devil, chain devil, and not by their actual names, except for one of them. <laughs> and it's the Abishai. Uh, no, Abishai is actually not in fifth edition at all. Yeah, not. Oh, five comes after nine, Brick Road. Sorry, I can't type. Just think of how much experience we're gonna get, though, guys. <laughs> Riot. Mm -hmm. Oh, nine. Nine. I'm Man, so used yeah. to I'm so used to saying characters' names in that tone of voice. I'm like, okay, what? Here it comes. <laughs> Killian. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen. That means I'm doing something right. Liberation. Liberation's on a four. Is Killian going first? He is. Oh no. Uh, Nath. Nath acts at 19. Oh, okay. Oh. Honor is restored to the world. Oh. <laughs> and Mahogany. 11. Uh, don't forget to roll for Zook. Yep. Yeah. Yep, you're gonna love this. Okay. What's Zook? Just verify. He, Zook goes on an 8. On an 8? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, roll, I told so, you I said I rolled like a butt. You guys step in the room. And looking down the stairs, uh, Nath mm -hmm. and Riot, you guys mm -hmm. suddenly, like, they haven't seen you yet. You're, like, hunkering down. You're like, okay, we can take these guys. And Mahogany, what are you guys looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Those guys have nice wings. And then they all stand up and turn around and look at you. And they snap up <laughs> their big forks that they're carrying. Like, big pitchforks. And it's like big dinner forks. Shit's about to get real. They're hungry gonna have some soup not with force they're not could be like a thick stew smart alec so nobody is surprised especially not especially not, riot. Especially not right yep <laughs> <laughs> and i got all my hit point totals here I like how we're all pretty much just held together by our mutual loathing of each other. So right now, Zook <laughs> is holding the door open. You two guys in this room, if you end your turn in this room, you're going to actually move around the gear a little bit. And probably we'll have to make a saving throw. And right now, Zook is holding the door open. And no. Nath, you have initiative. Mm-hmm. All right, so if I move uh, 15 feet down the stairs anymore... Uh, looking down the stairs, no, you don't see any more of them. You might get the room beyond this, though. No, there's no... Actually, there's no room beyond this. There's a silver door here, mm -hmm. a silver door here, and this area over here looks friggin' disgusting. Uh, looking over that way, it just looks wet and slimy, like, an, like a pit of awful, you know? Like a, like a refuse pit, maybe. All right, right well, uh, and there's a gold door here. They all get to make DC 19 constitution saves because I'm casting Cone of Cold. It's going to get them all. Cone of Cold. I like a good conical cold. I got a pass. I got a pass, and I got a 14, so one of them fails. Okay. Like, 50-50, they're immune to this, but hey. Didn't prepare chain lightning today. Uh, 36 cold damage. 36. That seems like a mistake on your part. Yeah, it really was. Okay, bear with me one second. If they start changing shape, let me know. Toss out <laughs> a moonbeam. <laughs> I didn't bring moonbeam. That was a joke. Now, make an Arcana check. Intelligence Arcana. Uh, 27, 28. Okay, they absolutely do resist, resist the cold damage. Had an effect, okay. but not the effect you were hoping for. Uh, moving uh, screen, but... Move back 10 feet. That's the end of Nath's turn. Okay, Keelian. I shoot this guy, because he hasn't acted yet. Okay. Do it. You also don't have surprise on him, though. He's not surprised. Right, but I still get advantage. I'm acting. 
You get Sorry. advantage even if you're not surprised with assassinate. Uh, if they're surprised, I get the critical. Yeah, it's two separate abilities. Yeah. Scout's honor. Yeah, that's that's how it works. I mean, let's be honest. Okay. Yeah, if Keelan was going to lie about mechanics, he would have done it before now. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Oh, that's a 20. <laughs> Finally. Did you roll a nat 20? I did. Uh, that's adorable. That is the most adorable. Six, seven. Let me All right, now you might want to let that out. I don't believe him anymore. <laughs> it's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. <laughs> Let's see, and 16, 17, 18. Okay. And then these two as well. <laughs> right. Is that enough D6s? No. That's enough. Really Probably isn't. not. It's only 65 damage. Only 65 damage. Yeah. Only. Good news, he's bloodied. <laughs> okay. And are you moving or staying put? I'm staying put right here. Okay. <laughs> right there in the hallway, huh? Yep. Okay, it's going to bring us to... Well, it's either that or go back to the fucking gear room. What's to do with that? Mahogany. It's gonna... Look at that nice little... That nice little line... Sunbeam. How wide is the sunbeam line? Five feet. Five feet. Uh, so I can, can catch two, I'm you can seeing. get two of them, yeah. And you'll get the third guy's meal, so he's going to get pissed off. Oh, it's already cold. He was holding the forks for food. <laughs> I knew it. Looks like they're feasting <laughs> on lemurs. Their meals are already cold, so. Well, I'm heating them up for them. Well, the, the room <laughs> itself is actually very hot, so. So I need some constitution saving throws is what I need. No problem. I have a 17. Uh, I yep. have a 13. Nope. Okay, so one pass, one fail. That's what I'm seeing. It might not matter for the guy that just got shot. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the one you want to fail? Yeah. Okay. We're looking at... Uh, no, I want the one that uh, that is unharmed to fail, because okay. he's going to get blinded. Sure. So that's 31 radiant damage. 31. So half of that is 15. Yep. And he's blinded. And then moving or staying put? I'm staying put. After you blast some light into the room. It's going to bring us to Riot. Okay. Uh, Riot hasn't done this yet. Been here for the session. But it's the first time she's busting out the good old uh, insect swarm. Oh, okay. Go ahead and draw oh, that. Oh! The oldie but goodie. A perennial classic. Our old friend. <laughs> now, these guys do have wings. They are mm -hmm. going to be able to fly up off the ground. Mm -hmm. It's a sphere. Uh, it's a sphere. Yeah, it's like a sphere. Um, so, yeah. What did they have to make? Dexterity is a dex or con. Let me look that up. This is on my character sheet before you chastise me. It's con. Constitution. All right, I've got a eighteen. Uh, that passes. I got a twenty-seven. Also passes. And I got a twenty-four. Yep. Eighteen would have failed my uh, bard spell, but unfortunately, it's the cleric thing. Okay, so nothing so happens will... to them right now. No, they're going to take half of 40, 10 piercing. Half of 40, 10 piercing, okay. Yeah. Fortunately, they are resistant to claw shrimp. It, it's well, weird. It's it just says specifically resistant to claw <laughs> shrimp. Like, not resistant to piercing. It's just claw shrimp in, in specific. It's weird. Okay. So half of 27. Half of 27, okay. And all that area is difficult to reinform, whether they passed or not. All right, give me a second to calc.exe. Oh, my constant is actually higher than I thought it was. Too late now. 
One of them is looking right on the verge of death as Claw Shrimper leaping up from the floor. The blind one, in addition, looks like he's bloodied. Alright, now I get to do some stuff for my Abishai. Oh, your Abby Shabby. Yeah, the Abby Shabby, you know. I'm actually surprised that these guys are not in the 5th edition book. Because in the 2nd edition Monster Manual... They're normally like manual, a second wave monster. Well, see, in the 2nd in the edition Monster Manual, they're like the base form of... If you look up Baptisu in that book, that's you get a picture of an Abishai and they're stats first. Okay. Who wants I think... to roll 3d6 to screw this party? I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Do you really? I do, it was Nodal. He always does it. Nodal? I feel Nodal. like the reason that, they, uh, that they're they not in the book is probably... Do you need those individually? or Which three dice did you roll? So... I rolled these top three right here. Five, four, and two. Five. So those three there? Okay. Three gates open as all three of these Abishai gate in more Abishai. More Abishai. More bullshit. One hey, I could have rolled worse gate, or better. Two yep. step out of this one and three yep. step out of this one. Yep. And each of these Abishai can also gate in between one and three more Abishai on their turns. Yeah, but they're in a way bigger line now, though. <laughs> <laughs> Should have saved that count. Uh, so at the start of their turn, does anything happen with the shrimp, or is that if they end their turn there? It's if they end their turn there. Okay, then they're just going to go ahead and fly out the way. Scatter. These guys do not look like they're going to retreat. These guys look like they're going to stay and fight to the death. So I have to put in six more hit point totals. <laughs> I mean, from a certain perspective, you don't have to use those two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are these, though, are Abishai the one that are immune to, like, a specific color, depending on their color? Uh, I don't know anything about that. So, they're like, they're, they're massive gargoyle creatures, basically. They're, this, they're the rank-and-file foot soldiers of most of the Beatisu Blood War armies. Okay. These guys, they, they do a lot of the grunt work. They don't have, like, a specific function in Beatisu society. Like, the Omnizu are the sages, the Chain Devils are the torturers, the Aranese are the lieutenants, that kind of stuff. That's going to bring us to Mr. Zook. Lulu Pihu, Lulu Wile, as a bonus action. Okay, is he continuing to open that door, or is he coming through? Uh, he is going to come through. Okay. And the door closes behind him. Like immediately, I thought it came. I thought it came shut. It'll be shut by the end of his turn if he doesn't stay there. Oh well, fuck. Okay. Um... We've been in this dungeon for a while. <laughs> can I? Will you agree with that line? Sure. Bird? Yeah, you can fire at that guy. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's there's a pretty decent chance I might forget which hit point total pertains to which Abby shy by the end of this fight, but. You'll just have to kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Zook can't hit the broadside of the barn today. Not he, he. He spears a couple of claw shrimp, but doesn't do much. That's only a fifteen to hit. Uh, fifteen will hit. Oh yeah. Well, well, not, not everything is like a greater devil. These are the footsel. Bully. Yeah, these, these are the lower guys. Remember, twenty three is the AC of a god. <laughs> uh, he can please to enjoy this twelve damage. I'm sorry, twelve damage. Yes. And he's got magical weapons. Yep. Okay. And Zook starts urging Liberation to get through the door. <laughs> so hang on, wait. Before you end your turn, I want to clarify something. Yep. Um, did Zook actually... I heard you say a little pee, little hey. Did he go invisible before he made that shot? He did, which gives him advantage on the shot, but that erases his invisibility. Oh. Did you yeah, not take the so, shot at advantage? Yeah, oh, no, and I you didn't. didn't and you didn't apply your sneak damage attack damage. Shooting with advantage. Uh well. Yeah. Also, why did you use it? 
You do get yeah, to go ahead. Place, place, though. You have advantage. I thought, I, had, I thought I had to hide and I thought I had to move and hide in order to get that. Any role no, that you're a invisible. has an advantage on can be can apply a sneak attack. Invisible. If you have invis invisibility, you have advantage. Yep. You don't have yeah, to be the, hidden. That's not a stealth thing. The invisibility lets you hide even if they know where. Like they uh, they know the square you're in, but you're hidden from. Now, if okay. you are not invisible but you are hidden, you still that does grant you advantage on the roll. Okay, then. Tack on another 46 damage to that. 46? Yeah. Yes. It That's was, more. It was a good roll. All right. My man That's is why I to clarify. Yeah. Uh, there's question marks under Zook. Er mm. And it's going to bring us to Taco Liberation. Bell. Liberation. At Zook's urging, steps to the door. Comes downstairs here. And he's going to dodge. Dodge right there? Yeah. Okay. Do fiends ever gain another fiends to bring takeout? <laughs> Oops, don't save object. I don't want to save this object I just brought out. From around the corner, you see a couple of lemurs crawling out of the gore pit beyond the door. But they don't make it much farther than this. And th these are mindless, terrible things that are just going to, on their next turn, crawl right through the, uh, the claw shrimp. They're probably getting so nice core pit with these guys. And that brings us back to Nath. Uh, what, is there one of these that's still badly wounded? Yes, this guy here is severely wounded. Alright, they get to make Don't a DC night. Don't hit him. No. Oh. Why? I got a plan. On my turn, that guy's gonna die. Okay. Um, is there anyone else? Any of the others that are wounded? Uh, a couple of them have yeah, been. Get, this guy here, get, next to him, has been pretty badly wounded, and the other two who've been wounded are on this side. I think get this one. At full this is the one that Zook shot at. I think. Yep. Try getting someone at full health. I would suggest. Sure. I'll, okay. I'll then I'll cast Frostbite on one of the ones at full health. It gets to make a DC 19 con save. Okay. 28. Yep. So nothing happens. That's nothing. the end of Nath's turn. And again, they are resistant to cold damage. Or is Frostbite yeah. Necronic? But that's my only ranged cantrip. Keelian. Hello. Hi. Can I get this guy? Just peek around the corner? Yeah, you can fire at him. I'm going to fire at him. Um, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck. Shoot a bolt at him. Okay, roll it. Bring your violence upon that man. 24. That definitely hits. That's pretty violent. Oh, that's 13 damage. And he's dead. Oh, I did it. Lemurs are the lowest of the low. They are just, they're basically just piles of melty flesh that get eaten a lot. This was the uh, punishment that Locke rescued Ulthor from, was being demoted to a lemur. And are you, How does that work? Uh, Beatisu can be promoted and demoted, and doing so actually changes their physical form as they rise or lower in the ranks. Hell is weird. So you duck back behind yeah. the corner here? Yeah. I'm, I've retreated. You retreated all the way back here. Okay. That's yeah. going to bring us to Magagoshini. All right. I'm seeing a real nice line. Only got the one real nice line, though. I'll I think this real on that. Cost me some through. constitution saves. Yeah, let's do it. You're aiming at a... Or does it say that? I just saw it. 17. 17. 24? Uh, yeah, that's higher than 17. 18? Yeah, also. And 17. Yep, but they still take half damage. They sure do. Not with that dice, though. That's a wrong dice. But oh, none of them won't are even blinded, let go correct? of them. None of them are blinded. Okay. I'm <laughs> but... <laughs> 29. So half that. 
Okay. Bear with me one second. Do they repeat their saving throw to end blindness on each turn if you don't hit them with anything? Uh, I believe they're only blind for... Yeah, they're they're no longer blind at the, as of now. And so at the end of their turn, it goes away? At the end of my t next turn. Okay, or at the order. beginning of my next turn, it goes away. Gotcha. Okay, it brings it... Are you staying put right there? Yeah. It brings us to Riot. Right, right, let's the cloud drop. Uh, moves forward to here. Around the corner. And in doing so, you see two more lemurs scrabbling out of the gore pit. Yeah, good luck with them. Uh, then I'm going to cast Destructive Wave. So literally every creature in this room needs to make a constitution save. Does that go around corners? Uh, each creature I choose within 30 feet of me. So all the ones I can see, presumably. Right. Constitution saving throw? Yeah. What's the DC? 20. Okay, I'm just going to go... <laughs> well, you know, let's do the, the, the Lemurs first, because that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, fail, fail, fail. Okay. <laughs> so, How can we tell the difference between... like Which of these are Lemurs and which of these are Abishai? The white ones are Lemurs, the yellow ones are Abishai. They oh, they're all yellow. yellow. They're all yellow. Yeah, the Lemurs are coming from around this corner here, but they keep getting thunder waves and whatnot. Okay. Can you can you t color a token? Because they're all yellow right now. They, they are. They should be. Yellow. They're all Abishai. Oh, oh, all these are Abishai. Okay. Yeah, the Lemurs were coming around, but you just thunder waved them. Okay. Yeah, the you, thing that you're holding right there is yellow, also. Yes. 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 It shouldn't be. I colored it white. Yeah, that's the problem that we're having. None, none yeah. of us are seeing that. Did it change? Yes. Yeah, that changed. Okay, yes. we'll just leave it that puke pink color, which is also okay. pretty good for a lemur. Yeah. No, yeah, that's all right. All right, so I'm looking for a 20. And these are constitution saves. Yeah. All of them. Okay, I've got a pass. A fail. So I'm just going to keep track of fails. That's two okay. fails. That's three fails. Four on the right side of the room. That's four fails. Five fails. I'm liking this. Six fails. I'll let you pick which six. I'm going to pick these four and these two. Okay. All the ones closest to Riot. So what, ex uh, what actually weird. happens here? They're all going to take a bunch of thunder and, and radiant damage. Okay. I'm going to have to split it up. Do you want me to split that up? No, that's fine. They don't, re they don't resist okay. either of those. Very few monsters resist thunder damage. Yeah, there's also very few ways to deal thunder damage in this edition. I hate this roll. It's a terrible roll. Uh, they right. all take 27. 27? Of of okay, so he's just dead. Yeah, this so... is why I didn't want you to kill the low HP. Okay. This guy standing next to him is very well bloodied. guys next to him, the other two on that side of the room, are pretty well wounded at this point. And then you want these two here? Mm -hmm. Okay. And there are takes five steps back, and that's the end of my turn. Actually, I think I will... God, who do I want to give it to? Let's give it to Mahogany. Well, yeah. you don't cast... You don't make attack rolls that often, do you? Do these three jokers here take half of that damage? Yeah, everyone who who passed will take half of it. Oh, also, everybody who failed is knocked prone. <laughs> I forgot about that part of it until I just had to look up the the, the half damage bit. So that's everybody except the three on the side of the room here. Yes, prone. So you've got melee attacks have advantage on all of them, but ranged attacks have disadvantage. Right. So I'm going to give my thing to Killian. <laughs> I mean, they're all about to get up because it's their turn. And that's exactly what happens. They all stand up. Uh, all right. I'm gonna. And you're staying put right there, right? That's as far as my movement can take me. Okay. All right. I need to. Where's the ruler at? Line. Is line a ruler? He's going through a wall, so he'll just take a step out here. One, really two, three, four, five, damage six, roll seven, on that spell. Eight. So 16 attacks against Riot. 
I, I will sure. say you did talk a lot of shit. I did. For what's yeah. about to happen here? Mm -hmm. What's your AC? Uh, it's probably not. For the, well, maybe not for these guys. It's fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, I got one critical. That's a miss. That's a miss. We're gonna do eight and eight. You can at least knock off that crit, right? All right. Yeah, I can do that as much. I mean, I don't have a great amount of hit points, so I don't think it'll matter. But yeah, I will do that. So you're gonna lower the crit? Yeah. Like cutting words it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, by how much can you lower it? Uh, let me roll this dice. Real can quick. you can you turn it into a miss? Is the question. Probably not. Well, well. Wow. Subtract twelve. All right, that that does turn into a miss. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Every Abishai in the room throws two fireballs at you, basically. So mm -hmm. we're gonna do these five hits first. Then I'm gonna roll the next round of eights, and we'll mm -hmm. do the whole ride again. If you're still standing at that point, I okay. probably won't be. Here goes fire damage for Riot. I mean, you you, you gave him claw shrimp and then thunder and. Uh -huh. uh, Number one is seven points fire damage. Okay. Number two is 12 points fire damage. Eight of that is going in the ward. Okay. Okay, so seven plus four. Number three is 16 points of fire damage. That's bad. Number four, nine points of fire damage. Mm. Mm -hmm. Number five, seven points of fire damage. Okay. And then they each get their second hurl flame. I'm still alive. You're doing all right. You're doing all right. I've got your AC is a 14. Yes. Okay. So only two misses out of the second batch. So here comes six more flames. Okay. Bring them. Number one is 15 fire damage. Okay, don't bring him. <laughs> Put him somewhere else. Yeah. Number two is 11 fire damage. Mm hmm. Number three is nine fire damage. Uh huh. Number four is nine fire damage. I'm down. This is, this is... So if Number... she's prone, they get disadvantage on those remaining ranged attacks? Sure. We can still say that. Ooh, one of them turns into a miss. <clears throat> Hey. Okay, that, was, that was the last one. Well, no, there was two left. Oh, there's two left. Okay. One of them turned into a mist. One of them gives you two deaths, two failed death saves. Okay. As, so Riot steps out into the room and casts this thunder wave and blows these lemurs apart and drops one of these Abishai to the ground as its bones shatter in its body. And she draws the ire of everything in the room. And they each cook up two fireballs, one in each hand, fling them in her direction. To her credit, she dances as best she can, but it's like a meteor shower. Before you know it, her smoldering body is laying unconscious at the base of the stairs. Here's here's what I won, though. Yeah. I'm counting it as a victory, and here's why. There are no Sharia. more Abishai in that room. There are no more what? There are no more Abishai in that room than when that's, I started. That's true. <laughs> 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 Also, Riot doesn't see any Abishai in that room. <laughs> no, okay. no, no. Actually, we'll put him here. We'll line him up here. Yeah, line him up. That's exactly how I would put how I want them to be doing what they do. <laughs> they do. They line up to bar your passage into the room, holding their forks out. Uh, Mahogany, I mean, everybody standing can see. They're... Basically, they're going to spork Riot to death next time they get in action. Zook! Oh. That guy, that guy looks like he could use a sniping. You think so? Oh, the guy yeah. with three hit points is dead. We can just take him off my list. Lulupuihu Luluwile. Okay. Hiya! So he's doing... Uh, I'll take, take the 14 or a 14. Uh, that is a 26 to hit. That hits. Let's get some, get some D8s over here. See, that's five. Five. Yep, there's ten right there. That's easy peasy. Oops. One. There we go. There's some numbers. 
<laughs> Here comes the numbers. There comes the numbers. Uh, 55 is 55. the grand ass total. All right. Uh, which were you aiming at the one that's most injured? Uh, is I that was your intent? Looking, I was looking at the one that was uh, aiming for the one specifically one of these two because these are the actually any one of these three uh, are giving me uh, are 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 within five feet of mahogany. That's why I was choosing that target right there. Okay. So, but yeah, one of those has been more injured. Is what I'm saying. One of them is beyond bloody. The rest haven't been bloodied yet. I'm going to take one of the ones that's up. That's not bloodied. Yeah. And he's sure as hell bloodied now. Yeah. So two of the ones standing in front of Mahogany are bloodied. Mm -hmm. That's going to bring us... Or is, is Zook moving or is he staying... Is he keeping the doorway open, by the way? Yes, he is. But he not, is. not anymore. He's gonna stay. Is there he's any mirrors stay. in that room? Any mirrors? No. <laughs> uh, I got a spell. Now he'll let the door shut. Okay. Coming through this side door here. We'll color tint one more time. We'll give them a nice purple color. Can you guys see the purple? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Keelian, you are Hello. very familiar with the type of devil that phases through <laughs> this door. Because oh, you've had dealings with one in Sigil. Uh, oh. The Lady Ligris, and you've never seen her decked out in her combat armor, but you've seen it on display. And the two women, with these ferocious-looking black feathered wings sprouting off of their back, head to toe in full plate armor. Each one wielding a sword and a bow that look capable of dealing infernal wounds. And they phase through the door to investigate the goings-on in this room. So, we'll start with Riot. I've got a 23 to hit Riot. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Riot's dead. Yep, Riot's dead. Was she shot? She was shot with, they, they pulled their longbows and the first one put an arrow into Riot. <laughs> Was that a disadvantage from being prone? It was. Okay. Can I... Um, I'm standing right there. Yeah. Can I burn a key point to try and catch that arrow? If you have a class feature saying you can. But she's, not, tar she's not targeting you. She's targeting Riot. Yeah. That's, the, that's why I'm asking since I'm standing right there. I'm pretty sure that deflect arrows only works for arrows targeting you. That's some bullshit. But... So she gets two more longbow shots against Mahogany. I mean, Mahogany's AC is much better than an unconscious riot. Uh, I'm pretty sure they don't hit either. I got a 14. Nah. And I got a 15. Nah. The other one will fire some arrows at Liberation, who's standing right there. Okay, then. What's your AC? And you're not dodging, right? AC, AC is... Uh, uh, my last action... No, I moved to that space, and I... and I, Yeah, I did dodge. You did dodge. Yeah. All right, let's roll some disadvantage. Ooh, there's a crit I can just throw away. Nice. We might have turned this into three misses, actually. Uh, 16 doesn't hit? Uh, no. And everything else is below that. So these Aranees come through this door, pull their bows. One of them sees Riot twitching on the ground, finishes her off, turns the bow against Mahogany. Then the second one fires three shots swiftly at Liberation. Liberation just dances around, and they all clatter to the stairs. Let's see here. Uh, I have to remind myself, because it's been a while since I've used this ability. It's like you can use your reaction to reduce the damage from a ranged attack, and if it's reduced to yeah. zero, you can catch it and throw it back. Yeah, but I didn't take any damage because it all missed. They all missed. <laughs> yeah. An Aranese is a pretty high level devil. They're up there. They're up at about the rank of an ice devil, thereabouts. That's going to bring us to. Okay, let me actually put them. Oh, it's going to bring us to Liberation, actually. Uh, spare the dying ain't gonna do anybody any fucking good. Uh, step over riot. Okay. Crack, crack. Start punching this fool. Uh, start bonking him. Start bonking him. Yeah. Liberation, don't it. go into that room. 
Does a 22 hit the, uh, the Abishai? Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, see that one directly in front of me right there? Uh, right. Ooh. Uh, 14 damage that, to him. Not bad. This is magical damage, yes? This is your punchy... Yes. Your punchy punch? This, this is... Yeah, no, this is uh, my... The staff. The staff, which is magical. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, it's still standing? Oh, yeah. The, the uh, one directly in front of you is not as injured as the two standing in front of Mahogany. Well, then he's going to be taking another seven points on top of that. Okay. I'm going to crack the one in front of Mahogany uh, with a key point flurry of blows. Okay. This one's looking real severe. Uh, how does an 18 do? 18 will hit. All right. And then that's uh, seven points there. And he's still up, but only just barely. And another 18 to hit for... Fuck him. Four damage. No, oh, five damage. That, I'm that'll sorry. do it. <laughs> That's enough. So you just start laying in with the vitamin K, standing over Riot's corpse. Uh, the one standing in front of you is... Uh, uh, he's almost bloodied. And the one in front of Mahogany drops to the ground dead. And you're staying put there? Yeah. Okay. more lemurs start stepping out from around the corner. That's going to bring us back to Nath. When you cloned you clone... that one, it turned yellow. Can you clone that? Yeah. My goodness. Why? That's so weird. Here, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's clone a yellow one. Spawn him in. We'll, we'll make him puke pink. Okay. Nope. No. Oh, oh there, there, we there we go. And then we'll... Huh? No. Still yellow. No, no still, still yellow. yellow. Okay, how about I just, gonna... just click the button there? How does that do? There you go. No, it's pink. <laughs> also, this um, one is still yellow. Yeah, I don't. That one's yellow too. No, it shouldn't be. Okay, let's just... Things are very difficult for there us. It is. Um, <laughs> can you describe to me the architecture of the room between the passageway into it and the room itself? Yeah. Well, very similar to like the entryway stairs. The stairs you're mm -hmm. on have the name carvings and things on them. The room below is the same kind of marble room you've become accustomed to, lit the same way with the same kind of torches. So it's, the temperature I guess my... here is much hotter, and it's a much more disgusting room because this is where Abishai eat all of their meals. The uh, I guess the operative part of that question is: this passageway is the ceiling lower or higher than ten feet? Uh, ten feet's about right. The ceiling Hello? inside the room itself is a little bit higher. But if I put a 10-foot wall of force right at the entrance, it wouldn't be able to get anything through? No, it would block it off. Uh, pull out the scroll I got from Cube. Wall of, uh, use the non-barred version of Force Cage. A Force Cage. All right. So you just want... So your intention is to block anything from getting yep. into your little nook. Okay. Anything. The only way through that is a disintegrate spell. I mean, they can still cast spells. No, they can't. It stops spells, specifically. Yeah, no, nothing gets through the Force Cage. And it can't be dispelled. It's not the Bard version. Yep, and it can't be dispelled. They can literally only disintegrate it. <laughs> hmm. okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Is it transparent? Yes. Okay. It's not. It's the solid version, not Bard. Make an Arcana check. Intelligence Arcana. Uh, 24. 24. Your experience, I mean, your research on Beator plus your experience in this compound, they won't be able to penetrate the Wall of Force, but they can certainly gate in fiends behind it. Because they can see all the squares on the other side of you. So you, you, you beat the retreat, let's get the hell out of here. Mahogany, can you coat the inside of that with something opaque? Yeah, that's that's. I go to here and I open this door if I have the actions left to do it. Uh, yeah, it won't take an action to open the door, but you okay. do have to spend yep. your max HP. I'm seeing a lot of dots on my little blood chart now. <laughs> so the door opens up, and you see the gear room behind Keelian. I'll keep the door open. Keelian, darkness. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, shoot a bolt against the force wall. I don't know that 
they might be able to see through darkness. Yeah, I'm but... not willing to trust that, so I have my. Uh, but they are, yeah, they are low ranking, so maybe they can't. I don't know. And they're gonna move over. Yeah. So you guys are you you shatter the darkness against the force walls, so the darkness is up in the stairwell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And then you retreat, mahogany. You're up. All right. I am. I want to make sure that you read this spell the same way that I do before I cast it. Sure. Is this door open? It is now. Yes, I'm holding it. it open. I can push if a if I cast Wall of Stone, I can push anything inside of it to a side that I choose. Is what it says. So the way I'm reading that is if I cast Wall of Stone right here, I can push us through that door. Uh, no, because the wall is only six inches thick. So you can put a wall of stone down the center of the stairwell, and then you can choose which side of it either of you were on, but you can't push everybody out the door. It's only six inches it's thick. It's panels. Okay. Then in that case... I mean, you could erect a wall of stone so you have uh, another barrier in between you and the devils. Easily yeah, enough. I'm trying to... The wall is six inches thick and is constructed of ten... Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is just fill up this area with just the panels. And that'll push us through. So it's just one square rather than the whole freaking hallway. Gotcha. So you're just making a 10 by 10 I'm by just 10 layering the panels. Boom, 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 <laughs> boom. No problem. And then are you moving or staying put? Uh, I'm moving. Okay. Uh, Riot doesn't even gurgle because she's dead. That brings us to Abishai, who nobody can see, which brings us to Zook. Zook is beating the retreat uh, to 20, 30 cunning action, and <laughs> 20, 30. All the, all the meanwhile muttering, this is how it went last time. <laughs> <laughs> Bang on the whole force door, let us back in. Brings us to the Aranese, who nobody can see, which brings us to Liberation. Uh, scoop up Riot's body, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, boom. Okay, so you guys are retreating back into this hallway here? Yeah. Okay. So we'll just say that that happens. We'll go ahead and come off of the initiative total for now. Uh, you guys are safe for this precise moment, but that safety will not linger for a long time. 